Welcome to Neo Systems Guide to Navigating Cost Point 7. Here's Kevin Brandt. I was originally a user of, of Cost Point and, and Time Collection and, and other Dell Tech products. Uh, so I'll be talking to you a little bit uh, from that perspective, from a user perspective, and also from the perspective of someone that, that's heard customer pain points day in, day out over the last seven years uh, in my consulting role. So real quickly here, starting out with the, with the menu item. So first we have the global menu. And the global toolbar. So up here in the in the global menu, uh, the menu options are basically the same as you as you had in Cost Point Six. However, when you when you open them, there are some more functions in here, and, and Dell Tech has been very nice and, and as part of these functions, map them to those hotkeys. So if you're a hotkey person, like to use those hotkeys, uh, now you can go through here and, and see what the hotkeys are for all these functions and, and use those on a on a day to day basis. So that's very nice. Uh, the icons. So all these all these icons in the global toolbar are now very Windows-like. Uh, so that's very nice, uh, uh, very and very visible and easy to use. So you save, save, continue, refresh, process, execute. All these print functions. Uh, so again, very nice, very nice and easy to use. Uh, uh, down to your record level. So here's a, here's a sample record, a journal entry processing screen or turtle entry, uh, entry, entry screen. Uh, so now you have your record level toolbar, which is, is quite intuitive. You used to have to do these things up at the top of the screen in cost point six. Uh, now it's, it's right on your record. Create a new record, copy your record, delete, scroll through your record, uh, do table or form toggle. I can quickly do that. Table, form, uh, and then query. So. Uh, all these, all these items, uh, right up the top of your screen, uh, very easy to, to, to access and use. Uh, next, the breadcrumb navigation. So up here, you can see how you've kind of scrolled through uh, the menu and got from accounting all the way down to manage journal entries. So uh, a, a nice new feature that, that shows you where you started from and where you are uh, in the navigation. Over here. On the side, you have your screen configuration, and that really quickly. So within your screen configuration, you can do three things. First, you can modify that top-level toolbar and the icons that are visible there, kind of like you can in Windows. Uh, and so you can limit it to the icons you're using on a on a day-to-day -day basis. That's very nice. Uh, also, from uh, from a data entry point of view, here's where you actually save your current application layout. So when you drag and drop all those all those columns, you go ahead and just save it here, uh, and then it's specific to you as the user. You can also very quickly and easily manage your My Menu here. So uh, so a nice new feature of that screen configuration. Uh, uh, one icon over here is your select company, so all you multi-company types out there, a quick and easy way to, to toggle through companies. And finally, uh, the log out here replaces that kind of ambiguous open and closed door uh, that was in cost point six. So this icon will make a lot more sense to all of you web types out there. So that's very nice. So let's go ahead and toggle back to the to the to the menu. So here's so here's the main menu. Uh, it looks very similar to what you saw in cost point six. So something I like a lot that it, it's quite intuitive to scroll through. Uh, because of, it has the same look and feel as six. Uh, so let's go through what what all these things are. Uh, first of all, the domain over here. You see the nice new big icons. Basically the same same menu, but nice new big icons. Uh, next, the module. So again, a few pretty much the same modules you saw in, in, in cost point six. They've been reordered slightly to make a little more sense of, of how how you might be using. Uh, the modules w within the domain, uh, and then the application group and the application. So as you scroll through here, uh, you get down to the actual application. These have also been reordered slightly. Uh, in, in cost point six, they started with controls. Uh, now you're you're getting down to uh, uh, controls at the bottom, and actually using the, the the functions you use more often have been pushed to the top. So it's quite it's a, it's a bit more intuitive. Uh, so when you're using these things on a day-to-day -day basis, they're right at the top of the menu. So that's quite nice. Uh, 
Uh, a few a few other things here, your My Menu, which I discussed. So as you click through that, uh, you can actually set up set top level items. Uh, so you can collapse and expand your My Menu uh, and 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 the applications that are that are within your My Menu. So that's very nice. And again, you set those up through your screen configuration area uh, most easily. Uh, then you have your open applications. So as I said, this replaces all those uh, open windows at the bottom of your screen and shows you all the applications you have open at any given time. Within the screen, you can close any one of these or close them all. Uh, so a lot of nice functionality within this open application uh, menu. Finally, uh, the application search. So I'm just going to quickly type in, and you see I'm, I'm in that little uh, search box there. Tip, quickly type in account payable, if I can type correctly. And so you see quickly and easily I can go to manage, manage AP vouchers, and voila, I'm there. So, so some very nice new features, uh, uh, and, uh, and I, I'm really excited about cost point seven and, and the ease of use, and I, I think you will be too. Thank you, Kevin. We hope you all enjoyed this video from Neosystems, your guide to navigating Cost Point 7.